Okay, let's try an example. In class activity one, for the control system with the following open loop transfer function, design a lag lead compensator to have a phase margin of at least 50 degrees and a static error constant kV equal 20. G of S is equal to 2K over S times S plus 2 times S plus 5. Notice that I have provided the answers here in case you would like to try the problem first before looking at the solution. Step one. KV is equal to the limit as S goes to zero of S G of S, which is equal to 2K over two times five, and that has to equal 20. So solving for K, K is equal to 100. Step two is to plot the Bode diagram for k equal to 100. And we have done that here. For step three, we have that our desired phase margin, this is given in the problem statement, is 50 degrees. And if we look at the Bode diagram, we can see here that our current phase margin is negative 24.2 degrees. And this is at omega GC equal to five radians per second. And since we are not given the settling time or the time to peak, we let omega PM equal omega GC, which equals five radians per second. Step five, at omega GC equal to five radians per second, the phase angle is negative 204 degrees, and this is our uncompensated phase. So for step six, we're going to calculate our required phase angle phi, which is equal to negative the quantity 180 minus 204 plus 50 plus 5. So our new required phase angle is equal to 79 degrees. Step 7 is to calculate beta from phi. So beta is equal to 1, minus, one plus sine phi over one minus sine phi. So beta is equal to 107.856. Step eight is to calculate Z lag, which is equal to 0 0.1 times omega PM or 0 0.5 radians per second. And this is also equal to one over T lag. Step nine, P lag is equal to Z lag over beta, which is 0 0.5 over 107.856 or 0 0.0046 radians per second. And this is also equal to one over beta T lag. Step 10 is to find alpha. Alpha is equal to one over beta. So alpha is equal to 0 0.009272. And now we calculate the zero for the lead compensator, step 11. Z lead is equal to omega p sub m times the square root of alpha, which is also equal to T lead. And it is 0 0.481 radians per second. Step 12, P lead is equal to one over alpha times T lead or Z lead divided by alpha, which is 51.926 radians per second. And finally, we can write GC of S 
the lag compensator is S plus 0 0.5 over S plus 0 0.0046. The lead compensator is S plus 0 0.481 divided by S plus 51.926. And now let's check our work by looking at the step response and the Bode plot after compensation. So looking at the Bode plot first, we do say, see the signs that we have a lag lead compensator in the fact that we have this dip here for the lag compensator and this peak here for the lead compensator. And what you should see here is that right here towards the center, we do have a phase margin now of 60 degrees at 0 0.383 radians per second. So we have satisfied the phase margin requirement. The other thing you should notice here is that the step response of this system before and after compensation. The original system was actually unstable, which is what these wiggle spikes are showing you here. And the compensated system is now stable.